Well, welcome back to the Piney Woods Homestead, y'all. There is a lot to get done today. And I'm gonna try to bring you along for most of it in this video. Gotta get cleaned up all the chicken processing stuff that we used the other day. Thank God we are done with chickens for the year. Gotta get the electric fence down from around the in-ground garden because we want the deer to be able to go in there and munch on that cover crop. And I'm gonna load some slabs up to get over to my father-in-law for his wood baller. Got some cold nights coming, y'all. Really, it's getting ready to be cold enough to process a pig, but I'm not quite ready for it yet. Let's see, and get some tank heaters in the pig waters because it's gonna be in the 20s here for a couple of nights in a row. Guys, thanks for stopping in at the Piney Woods. Y'all, we've hit that 2000 mark, and we appreciate y'all, guys. We'll talk more on the next video about a giveaway. I gotta get with Lisa and we're gonna decide what we're gonna do. All right, guys, let's get into it. We appreciate y'all being here. Y'all, this right here is a good tip for you if you're going to be processing your own chickens. My mother-in-law actually gave me several of these. It's just a painter's coverall. It's a paper coverall. It's pretty thick. Zips up in the front. Y'all, it's hard to stay clean when you are processing chickens. <clears throat> and this keeps a lot of the funk off of you. I wear not only this, but a face shield as well as gloves, rubber gloves, when I'm taking care of the evisceration, the putting them in the cones, putting them in the plucker, because that plucker will splash water all over you, and scald and the whole nine yards. Lisa wears PPE as well. We just have found that it's safer doing it that way because Y'all, you just got to take care of yourself. It's just the two of you, and, or for in your case, it may just be yourself. But a little bit of PPE can go a long ways, y'all. So that's a tip for you. All right, all the processing equipment is put up. Not in its permanent place, but at least under the tractor shed. We'll get it all put back up later. Y'all, we sanitize everything when we're done. Everything gets a Clorox solution, sprayed down, hosed down, cleaned up. So we're ready to go for the next time and we even clean it before we start again because of dust and whatever. But now I've got to get the excavator unloaded, get hooked to the dump trailer. I'll back it down in here near the sawmill. We're going to load up some slabs that need to go to my father-in-law. And then we're going to go down here to the garden and get this fence down that should have been down a month ago. But y'all, we just seem to be behind all the time. And after, let's see. 175 pounds of chicken is what we processed over the course of two days and it's just uh it's a it's a process y'all it a lot of folks make it look easy and i guess to an extent it is but it can be tiresome it's very labor intensive but y'all that fried chicken it sure is good it's matthew here at the piney woods homestead guys if you have tried our piney woodsman beard bomb you're going to be thrilled over this. We've come up with a new flavor, as we call them around here, guys. Deer stand, that's what it's called. It's gonna remind you of deer hunting in the fall. The smell of fresh, fresh leaves falling, the smell of fresh dirt being turned over, the smell of that crisp morning air as you're climbing up into the deer stand, freezing your tail off. Guys, you're gonna love deer stand from Piney Woodsman.
right, that ought to work. Now I can reach a pile of slabs I've got on the other side of the dump trailer over here. It's a little bit thicker and a little bit older than the other slab pile. A little bit of oak in it, but mostly pine, y'all. And these wood boilers, at least my father-in-law's anyways, it'll burn anything you throw in it. So he loves working with slabs. I'll take him a load, he'll cut them up, put them in there. And I know he's running a little bit low and we've got some cold nights coming. So let's get this thing loaded up real quick. Then we'll get on down here to the fence wire. loaded up got a nice load of slabs there good and dry slabs they're going to burn fantastic got this spot cleaned up here behind the sawmill still more cleaning to do i'm not going to put any more slabs back there i will just work with the one on the other side of the truck for now go ahead and clean this area up it's not so snaky back here behind the mill got some metal i need to get up and haul off and this place will be looking much better back here but i'm happy got it loaded no accidents, nothing like that. Eventually, y'all, I'm going to get me one of those strap systems. I believe Bailey's own line sells them. But until I'm willing to come off the hip with a few hundred bucks for that, I'll just keep doing it the way I'm doing. Y'all, that's going to wrap it up for us today. I'm not going to take you down to the garden. I'll get that electric fence down in a day or two. Main thing is I want to get these slabs over to my father-in-law. So that'll be warm here when it starts getting really cold. Guys, thanks for stopping in at the Piney Woods. We appreciate you being here. Thank goodness. I believe this morning we're at 2004. We appreciate you guys. Hope to keep the channel growing and being an encouragement to others. Y'all will see you on the next one. Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise too high, y'all.